Number 21. What is the change in the nucleus that results from the following decay scenarios? And then we have an emission of a beta particle. Okay, so this question basically says, what's going to happen to the nucleus if we emit a beta particle? Well, the first thing is, what are the subatomic particles that are part of the nucleus? Well, the two subatomic particles are your protons and your neutrons. So there's got to be some different type of change, uh, whether protons are maybe going to be turning into neutrons or neutrons turning into protons. I do not like how I wrote protons, so I'm going to rewrite it again because that's, that's just who I am, right? If you've, been, if you've been part of the channel now, you kind of know my little quirks. <laughs> but anyway, let's see what's going to happen. Now, they do say that we are undergo emission. Now, if you are emitting something, just know that whatever they're talking about, it's always going to be in the product side. So in this case, we're undergoing emission of a beta particle. And a beta particle is just a fancy way for saying an electron. Okay, so let's start writing out this balanced equation. Now, in this case, we know that we have a yield sign, right? Something's going to be on the reactants and something's going to be on the products. Now, if we are undergoing emission, and it's an emission of a beta particle, that means that that electron is going to be part of the product. So I know that I have to put it on the right side because that's the product side. All right. Well, we either say E for electron because that's just what a beta particle is. It's just an electron. Or you can say beta. I don't care, right? <laughs> I don't care. Uh, let's just maybe throw in a B. B for beta. And just know that there's, you know, two numbers always when you're doing nuclear notation, one on top and one on the bottom. So we should know what our electron or beta numbers are. A beta charge is a negative one. And since it has nothing to do with the nucleus, it does not have an atomic mass. So it's a zero value. All right. So now what I've done is maybe we'll just say that this is the beta. Uh, I guess we'll say B-E-T-A. And now we have to introduce our proton and our neutron into this balance equation. So let's see. I have to make the numbers work. Now, in order for this to work, just know that the top numbers on the left-hand side of the e equation have to equal all the top numbers on the right. So let's see. If, and, and by the way, I'm only working with protons and neutrons because that's what we're dealing with. We only care about what's going on in the nucleus. And the nucleus is only about protons and neutrons. So that's why I don't care about any other subatomic particle because those are not part of the nucleus. Now, over here, right, I know that if I'm going to be putting one on one side and probably one on the other side, right, I know that the tops have to be balanced. Because a 1 would have to equal a 1 on the product side because there's no top number for the beta particle. But now, who's going to go on the product side? Who's going to go on the reactant side? Well, I see that I have a negative 1 charge here. So I, I have to counteract that, right? So which subatomic particle has a positive 1 charge as their atomic number? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. The proton, right? Protons are always plus one. Neutrons are neutral. They have no charge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this guy up here. And let's see if it, if it works out, right? Because negative one plus one equals a big fat zero. So what does the charge on the bottom have to be on the reactant side? Yeah, it's also got to be a big fat zero. And that's what the neutron is on the bottom, right? And then one on the top total, zero plus one is a one. So we did it right. So in this case, here is the balanced equation for when we emit a beta particle. So what is going on in that nucleus? Well, it seems like a neutron, you're starting off with a neutron, but then once you emit that beta particle, what does it turn into? Yeah, a neutron will turn into a proton. 
And that's it. So let's bounce. Or not bounce, but let's box this off, right? Whoop. There we go. Whee! And that is your final answer. So that's basically all that we had to do here, was just see who was on the left, who was on the right, and the neutron will turn into the proton. So you'll lose one neutron, but you'll gain a proton in the nucleus. And that's it. I hope this out. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, so, you know, as we're making these videos right now, it's a brand new school year. So I'm so excited for you guys. This is like the best time of the year. I remember when I was in school, uh, this was always the, the best time, you know, making the schedule, going to your first couple of classes, got the endorphins pumping. It's going to be a great year for you guys. I'm super excited. Um, I just want to let you know that because it's a new school year, we opened up memberships on the channel. Uh, if you want to become a member and help us out a little bit more, uh, you're more than welcome to. You know, it's not obligated, obviously. So, you know, but thank you for considering. And I'll talk to you soon, okay? Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.